Good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm Lynn Bowie. More snow fell overnight across the area and the temperatures dropped. This is a live look at the Baltimore City County line. Let's start our weather coverage with Tim. It was a dicey commute. The roads are slick and icy. Absolutely. You know, we've been saying all morning, you know, we came in, of course, as the crews probably had just finished the more recent shift, like before 3 o'clock or so. And uh, if you're out there now, you don't know what you're driving on. You saw the sheen you uh, just saw there in that live report. Well, you don't know if it's ice, you don't know if it's just damp. And where there is snow on the ground, it is frozen solid in place because the temperatures are below freezing. And anything that was damp when you went to sleep is now frozen solid now. The storm has now cleared the area completely. It is now moving past New York, moving up into Canada. But the storm totals that it left behind are pretty impressive. We'll talk about it here in just a second. We're looking at temperatures, though, below freezing around the Beltway and anything north and west. We have 25 degrees in Elkton, 22 in Westminster, 26 in Hagerstown, 27 in Rock Hall, 30 in Annapolis, and 30 in Easton. But as you started to get down into southern Maryland and the lower eastern shore, of course, it was an all rain event there. But we are dealing now also with the cold winds in place. The cold air that's in place is not going to give way any ground just yet. You're not going to get any help from the temperatures to warm up at least early on. So we have these winds from the northwest at 20 miles per hour sustained in Elkton, 10 in Bel Air and in Hagerstown, 11 in Annapolis. And with that wind and temperatures below freezing, we do have a wind chill to talk about. 18 is what it feels like in central Maryland and in Elkton. 16 is what it feels like in Bel Air and in Hagerstown. So right now we have mostly cloudy skies, 27 degrees. But we talked about those snow totals and what you can expect today. And for more on that, going to bring in Marty Bass. Marty, good morning. We had a pretty impressive storm. We sure did, Tim. Thank you very much, and good morning, everyone. Before we get to the snow totals, I want to show you something that we have been talking about all morning long. You're going to continue to hear Lynn and Tim, Annie Rose, and Stetson uh, uh, referred to. Overnight, we had a nice little blanket of snow on top of a layer of freezing rain and sleet, which compressed the earlier day's snowfall down. So what you have is a pretty mean layering. And by mean, let me show you what I'm talking about. I can take my finger and stick it in, and I'm pushing hard, only about a half an inch. Underneath that, you can see that layer of ice. And there it is right there. And this is very, very difficult to move. And once you actually move it, as I've done on the deck, and it's all I can do to get it moved, there's another layer of ice underneath all that. So this is becoming very, very problematic for sure. Take a look at these snowfall totals, anywhere from nine inches in Parkton to six inches in Manchester. Now what's gonna help out today, if you take a look at the day part, is gonna be sunshine and temperatures right around 38 at lunch. Some car thermometers may get to 40 degrees. The breeze is also gonna be around, so we'll get a thaw, we'll get some evaporation, but then get a refreeze overnight. So we've had a very problematic first event of winter and it's going to remain problematic as we move through the day, the night, and even into tomorrow. Back to you. Thanks, Marty. Our team coverage of the storm continues. Stetson Miller is in Carroll County, but first, Annie Rose Ramos is a look at conditions in the city and Baltimore County. Good morning, Annie Rose. Hey, Lynn, good morning. We're at the corner of York and Northern Parkway, and because this is such a heavily trafficked roadway, we have seen snow plows coming up and down this street just every few minutes. But, Lynn, to give you an idea of what they're pushing aside, these are the massive chunks of ice. This is the buildup in the less than 24 hours of frozen rain and snow slush, just multiple pieces of massive chunks of ice like this one. Now, as Marty and Tim mentioned, over Overnight temperatures grew even colder, which means that drivers and crews now face the realities of a refreeze. I just got off work, so I'm trying to get home. Done with work, just in time. That was a mess. Residents in Baltimore County rushed home as the snow turned to a sloppy slush. I started sliding like twice going back home. Wednesday's blast of winter weather blanketed parts of Maryland, coating roadways and snarling traffic. Highways becoming a problem fast. It looks beautiful, but for us, it could be a, bit, a little bit difficult. From the county to the city. 
It's all hands on deck. The city and the county have more than 100,000 tons of salt to use and nearly 900 employees out on the road. If you do not have to be on the road, don't be on the road so that we can allow our crews to focus and do the work that they need to do. We expect that within 24 hours of the last snowfall, we will have all of our roads clear. But as the temperatures continue to drop, the attention turned to potentially dangerous icy conditions and even more snow overnight. I just trying to stay safe so I don't slip and slide. And Lynn, untreated streets are now basically sheets of ice. Now, if you live in this city, roadway crews are going to be working on these high volume roadways first. That is their priority. Then the secondary roads and finally residential streets. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ. Annie Rose, thank you. Our team coverage continues with Stetson Miller, who is live this morning in Carroll County. Stetson? Hey, Lynn. Yeah, we do have seen some people now get more traffic on this roadway right here. This is 140. We're at a gas station right along 140. Now, the problem with this storm was there was snow and then it turned to rain, and now we're dealing with freezing temperatures, turning much of what's on the road into ice. During a short reprieve from the snow and then rain. But the reason we're staying late is because we have to salt so it doesn't freeze overnight. Paul Han is shoveling the walkway leading to the Myers Durbra funeral home. He says what made his work especially tricky all the cars on main roads and side streets. Because I had to like do laps to plow, because I had to come in the entrance and go, go out and come back around. And there's just a lot of like sedans on the road that are slipping and sliding. Crews working out of the Carroll County Maintenance Center spent the majority of Wednesday morning and afternoon salting, saying it's best to get it done before the snow actually sticks. Then they started plowing, acknowledging the treacherous nature of this winter storm. You know, this is the type of snow where you can't really stop. You know, if you hit the brakes, you're going to keep sliding. Even if you have four wheel drive, it's not stopping. It is going to be a Rachel Abelos braced the roads briefly. 140, there was a lot of people kind of spinning out, so we didn't risk it anymore. We were just, let's go home. Instead, she opted for a snowball fight with her kids outside her Westminster home. If they can have something good out of 2020, let it be a snowstorm. <laughs> and you can see what I was talking about here just right now. There is just a thin layer of ice right here off to off my shoulder right here. So this is why crews are asking you to stay off the roads once again. Lynn, back to you. Thank you, Stetson. The snow fell fast in Hartford County. Plows made their rounds from Route 40 to the Pennsylvania line, getting into neighborhoods whenever they could. Some cars, though, did end up in ditches, and state police responded to 24 crashes only in Hartford County. A snow emergency remains in effect. WJZ is your winter weather connection with the most experienced weather team in town. We have all the information you need on air and online at WJZ.com. If you don't have to travel this morning, please don't. There are so many accidents out there, I can't even keep up with them. Now, behind me, you see Wilkins Avenue. That just started to move, just had a crash clear there on the outer loop. Another check on the top side of the Beltway at Cromwell Bridge Road. We also had a couple disabled vehicles there. We have so many crashes to report, they keep coming in one after another. Southbound 795 between Franklin Boulevard and Owings Mills Boulevard, the inner loop of the Beltway, a crash there at 70. That takes us to 100 eastbound at 95, northbound 90. At 175, and we still have that crash southbound 95 at Mountain Road blocking the center lane. So let the crews work hard. They're doing a great job getting those roads cleared. And if you have to go out, absolutely have to go out, take your time. Lynn?